All right, welcome back for another one. Right now, we're gonna go to Viking Village, and I. But I'm not gonna take this away again because obvious reasons. I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to sit there for like six minutes watching the same thing over and over again, like you're in the, a Genjutsu. The infinite. Oh, oh, the Mugen train. The infinite train. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. At this point, oh, this is abandoned. I'll stop here real quick. I was gonna. Well, not me, but someone was gonna build something really inappropriate and I told them not to. Yeah, please don't build the top top. This is why I wanted to fly into this. Now, there's a good reason why this isn't finished, really. He had a boat planned and everything. My buddy Harley was, well, not buddy, I met him randomly, but I considered him a friend nevertheless. But there's one golden rule I have on my server that will get you banned. Do not duplicate like items like this he duplicated wood and stone the basic ones and like those two basic things and i think cobble yeah cobble and just had at it like he, he went and built all this impressive yeah but when you when i see that this wall is solid solid stone on the inside that he built around this with no mines around here granted he could use mine and then farmed the wood but he didn't because I, I checked and I, I had all my stone I had all my resources and when I asked him about it he flat out said he was duplicating and a piece of me wanted him to finish and just quarantine this area. But if I would have did that, other people would have saw it as like, oh, he's gonna let him duplicate and stay. Uh, I could duplicate. So my rule is harsh, but it, it's because it was the only way to make me actually want to play this game still. Because if I would, if I duplicated then there was no point. N none of this had no point. I mean, in general, nothing has any point. We give it meaning, but my meaning stems from this actually being a survival world. Um, yeah, it's not, not as impressive as other YouTubers, but it's mine. My subway is my crowning achievement in this world. So, and actually, for the most part, it's done. Every every station that I want it to go to is completely dug out and equipped with the um, the pillars in the inside. No mobs can spawn in here. I made it safe, like, I wanted people to be able to um, get in here, and if they get lost or have to walk, they won't have to fight mobs for days. But on the Xbox 360 and Xbox One Edition, on those two separate things, if all my stats were put together, you would see that in this world. Because at one point, 
for Xbox 360 and the Xbox edition, uh, there was a ranking system, like a leaderboards. I was trying to get number one on hard for mining for all categories. I was the fourth or third person in the world. I have a picture of me in, as the 11th, but for some reason, my screenshots didn't save for a period of time, and I, I lost that one. So I'm disappointed because that was actually a really, really cool thing. I was in a competition with this p person named Fishing Fool. He's a very cool guy. I really hope he's still alive, you know? But this is where I'm going to be building for my next base. It is going to be a YouTube build, kind of. It's very impressive. Look up The Sanctum on YouTube. Like, it's really impressive. It's like a church type thing. I need a new place for my villagers because this is good, but this is a dismal area. This is a shopping area. Like, I have every maxed out achieve uh, enchantment that you could get for a book. It's basically the one-stop shop. And no, these villagers were not used for the conversion therapy thing. Um, they kept dying and I was getting frustrated at a point. Uh, some are missing. I didn't care about him. Who are you? Oh, why are you out? Piercing, piercing for... Wait, are you piercing or protection? Piercing. Uh, I don't care. All my good ones are here still. The good ones, efficiency 5, unbreaking 3, yeah, unbreaking 3, and mending. All the other ones could go, go away. Like, if you got those three, you're basically set. Like, anyone could build an easy villager breeder with two or three villagers out immediately when you start the game. Using everything around you there. Um, this is my little kiosk where I get food from them. Here are the rejects who I don't care to save. Here's a fox that's been stuck in here for days. With copper ore that I couldn't find previous videos. A little snarky. So, I had to drain an ocean for this place. And I'm still in the process of it. I got distracted trying to publicize this room. Because once I get this world tour segment done, I was going to proceed with removing the top, smoothing out the walls, and preparing to build the sink. Because the crossroads is going to be here. It's going to be looking more like a train station. Going to have the vibe of that. Going to build a little tank engine right there. My old my Thomas. I'm going to build him right here. Because uh, I was named after trains because I like, I like trains. I like running trains, you know? Get it? It's funny. You need to laugh. So we're, we're here at Crossroads. The you are here changed. If anyone has any difficulty reading this I'm sorry this is the llama he, he wants to look at it too he's curious he stopped caring he's indifferent about it um, okay nine minute in what should we do okay that way this literally goes back to spawn like so let's look at this map real quick it literally goes back to spawn it's a different tunnel but it connects this one. This used to be the northern route before I built this connection. This connection never used to be here because I was actually content with it running that way and such. And then one day I was like, oh, they're on the same level pretty much. So I could just... And... Yeah. Thus confusion was born because apparently this segment right here is... 
the bit that people lose their mind at. Once they get to this section, they're like, wow, where are we? But I, I get it. This place could look confusing. But just take like two seconds to like look at it. You'll know that that tunnel's not in use. You came from that way. So there's only left or right to go. You come over here to the map, you look at it, and you're like, hmm. So if we go left, we're going to go to station six, which is trash because... Well, I shouldn't call it trash. That's, that's messed up. Um, I honor it. I like it. They built it, but it has no purpose. So I, I have no purpose going there. When I go into the... Uh, Oh. oh, I was scratching my face, you jerk. Oh. No, no. This is it. This is the moment. This is it. One. I give the win to the Enderman. Okay, I was literally scratching my face. I didn't even mean to look at him. Okay. So, hopping on in here. I'm gonna show off uh, the hub in this for the end of this episode. Explain the room and say hi to the guys. Lagging aside. Oh, there it goes. I don't know why it does that. So I I made this abundantly clear. Portal to crossroads. Portal to crossroads. 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 No excuses for getting lost now. There were basic signs around at this junction, but apparently you need more. So gunpowder farm. End portal and Birmingham, and then road to one million. The the, the sign's kind of misleading. It this this highway can be used for about twenty-eight thousand blocks for the ice path, but for a regular tunnel ready for ice, it goes to one hundred twenty-five thousand. At the end of that one hundred twenty-five thousand stretch, coming back and ending at like. 90,000, there's ice. So it's the stretch between 28,000 and 90,000 where there is no ice. There's just straight up walking. You walk 50,000 blocks. This is not fun. This is like a trail of tears. Oh, I just realized I could, build, I could bring a horse in here. Oh, I love my four planning. Let's go. What was that? Suicides. I love it. I love lemmings. Okay, so this goes to the Guardian Farm. We were just there a little while ago, and I could have took that to get the crossroads quicker. But this goes to Emerald Farm. And such. And he's, he's posted up. So real quick, we're gonna go to Gunpowder Farm and Emerald Farm. Well, I lied. We're gonna go to Gunpowder Farm first. This is like taking a plane. This kind of defeats the purpose of my subway, so I had mixed feelings about making it. But eh, it had to be done. I, I only made the subway in the old world to prevent. Oh no, I misspoke. I, I meant to say like so I can delete the Nether because it was a subway where you could reset it and do it again. So whenever I, I had the re-roll before the infinite world bit. Uh, yeah. So here is a gunpowder farm. It's a simple witch hunt. It's 
not the same. Yeah, this, this whole area has a singular purpose of just um, being my gunpowder farm. Nothing else. <gasps> I did it! There's a lot to see in this world. Um, many, many little hidden gems from other people building. I'm just showing off the main public structures that provide people with what they need and such. Like this, this piece. These, these are great. I love them. I remember the Star Trek episode I was watching when I built this. That's all I think of when I see those bees. I think of. Uh, Romulan corruption and defectors. who use this farm and don't expect it. But it's okay. I don't have a proper system to siphon out everything because honestly, I never even attempted to. I'm not even going to stay here to activate this. I don't even want to. But, um, so they spawn down there. And that bit pushing about kills um, a pillager leader and it triggers uh, a raid going up here I'm just gonna fly going up here I have a villager that will never see freedom he has been in here since he was a child I plucked him from the village Moved him here with his ancestors. They lived in their box. I don't care about the kids, as you can see. They, they could. Anyone who could somehow get out of there. Oh, I blocked them in there. Oh, look at my thinking. Wow. Saving generations. So, Here's where I got them from. Because the subway is not out here. I will not bring it up. This is you. You're asking way too much. Here's my friend's village. Yeah, Michael put a lot of work into this pickaxe. I. I personally really like it. I don't have anything like that. I really need to. Because I need to dial back my projects and make intricate art like this. He's been reshaping this village. And I honestly really like his ideas. So yeah, on the next episode, I'm going to cover the next station which is um, Station 6, and I'm going to wrap around and then uh, hit 
seven, eight, and then nine, ten, because we've pretty much already seen them. But I haven't really gave the proper spiel over them yet, so. 